All right. Sorry about that, everybody. YouTube's wonderful um, streaming software just kind of shut down on me. But we're back. We are back. Um, all right, so I made a little mistake here. Which is okay because there's you can you can fix things pretty easily. Um, in this case, I'm gonna have to improvise here. It's like, can I make a smaller platform to jump up onto that platform? Or actually, ooh, I got an even better idea. Check this out. If this works. Tree bridge. Yes. Oh, sweet. Alright, just had a just had a new idea. Just had a new idea. Well, what's up with this squirrel? So we can make a tree bridge. So I can put a bridge here. And have it go outside of my base. Ooh. Which, unfortunately, I'm going to have to figure out... How to fix my mistake. Alright, so we'll put a wooden bench. I think this might... I wonder if, if, if I put a wooden bench here... I don't think I'll be able to jump high enough. Okay, so we're going to put a table here. See if this will work. So I've got to improvise here. I uh, miscalculated. <laughs> Alright. some trees real quick. So we got to uh, improvise. Which, you know, sometimes you got to improvise in this game. Sometimes things don't work out as you planned, and you got to kind of change it up. So that being said, we are going to make a table. So what I'm doing here, there we go, perfect. So I made stairs, and I was unable to make, obviously, stairs right there to go down to the platform because the stairs weren't access, uh, accessible. So what I did is I just made stairs, and since I couldn't jump up here because I made a little miscalculation, I just built a table. You can jump on the table, now you can jump up here. Uh, super easy, which it's actually kind of a good thing because if the enemy gets inside my base and they run up the stairs while I'm trying to retreat up here, they're not going to be able to get on top of this table. They're going to hit the table and stop and they'll be stuck here and you can just kind of uh, attack them from up here. But So now I've got this um, viewpoint. So any gives me the ability to see outside my base, to see how many enemies there are. Uh, they're going to eventually start to attack the out outer walls. So this will help me definitely maintain a little bit of control um, and uh, maintain more knowledge on what's really going on outside of the base. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way because it's just in the freaking way. Let's put these sticks away. Alright, perfect. So that worked out nicely. Um, and, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. And we're gonna just. I got all these bones. Kinda yeah, cool to make like a, like a bone fence up here. Oh, what? It only makes me. I don't wanna do it around the whole thing. I just wanna do it on the edge. Come on, man. 
about this? Oh, it does the same thing? Why? Why doesn't it let me just make it on the edge? You do it right here with this table. But it won't let me do it. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Alright, so we fixed the issue here. So now we got our stairs. The enemy comes up. They're not going to be able to get up here because they can't jump on this table. And so we can fight them if they do get inside. Cool. That's done. Oh, there's a deer in here. What the? Let's hack this thing. Hey! Hey! Wow. Way smarter than I thought. Alright, so we're gonna eat some meat because my guy is hungry. I need some dried meat. Eat. Alright. There we go. Let's put the rocks I picked up there. We'll put these sticks in here. Cool. And actually, let's uh, save it because we want to save frequently. Alrighty, so what can we do now? So we've harvested uh, seeds, so we now have a little bit more idea of what the aloe looks like, um, what the marigold looks like, and you can see that I can actually already start eating, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until they fully uh, blossom into beautiful blueberry plants. Got our aloe growing here in our own little personal planter, which will give us seeds for more aloe. And then we've got kind of our shelving for our storage, which I can actually add there. There we go. Got our medications, our drinks, and our alcohol. I will definitely build more shelving. Probably over here. So what can we do next? Tree sap collector. Well, we could do that, but I think I'm going to pass. Um, couch. Yeah, we don't really need much more of this. We can make a nice ceiling lamp. Yeah, we can make a cool little ceiling lamp. Although that's not as cool as the bone chandelier. The bone chandelier is pretty sweet. But I think it takes like a, a lot. 26 bones. Dude, look how freaking sweet that is. We'll just do that. We'll, we'll just set it here, and then when the time comes, it will, we'll get it um, get it all built. Got the cloth. Now we just need the bones and the skulls. Looks like nighttime is coming. Let's close this up. Right up the fire. Get ready to take a nap. I'm at it. Maybe we can make another uh, log holder. Where's the log holder? There we go. I think it'll fit there. Yeah, it'll fit at a nice angle. There we go. 16 sticks. Just grab them all. There we go. Got a log holder. Perfect. Alright. Five log holders. So we can carry lots of wood. Lots of spare wood. It's almost time to where I can take a nap. So that I don't have to wait until the nighttime passes. Let's be real. That's just annoying. Because I'm thirsty, huh? I'll wait till the morning. That's kind of another tip too. Is um, you know, I've got half water, but if I go to sleep, my my health and or my water, my hydration and my hunger will go down. So like, it's pointless to drink and eat right before you go to bed because as soon as you go to bed, it's just gonna go down again. Oh look! Oh, 
got a raiding party outside. Look at him, you can hear them all running. Oh man. We'll go to sleep, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> they left and they didn't do anything. Whew. Alright, so now you would want to drink and eat your food. Don't do it before you go to bed, it's pointless. You're just gonna wake up. You're going to be hungry and thirsty again. You're going to eat more of your food. Therefore, wasting it. Um, but now I'm good to go. And I'm actually going to check out my bird's house. Get all those feathers. Four feathers collected. And I'm going to get some wood. So I can make some arrows. There we go. I do need more feathers. Let's find some birds to slaughter. Come on, man. Where do you fly to? Inside my house? Oops. I uh, hit my house a little bit. And I didn't get those feathers. Uh, so, repair tool. Check it out. Oh, wait. Was it the bird house that I hit? Oh, it sounded like I hit something, but apparently not. Alright. So, let's... Let's just, let's go hunt some... Um, some cannabis. Maybe this deer. Oh no, he's gone. Yeah, let's go get some bones. Or maybe, maybe, um, yeah, we'll uh, light a fire in the tribe's base and then we will go ahead and try to get them to attack us. Oh, yeah, piece of wood. Bring this back real quick. And now it's raining. So I'm going to need a fire anyways, because I'm going to need it to keep warm. Yeah, if you were watching the other stream, sorry about the, uh, the, the stream drop. That was, I blame YouTube, but it was a good thing it needed to happen, because now um, I can stream at 1080p without any issues. As far as frame rate is concerned. At least I hope there's no issues. I usually don't hear any issues from anybody, so that might have been a unique situation. Um, usually the feedback I get is very positive. Alright, so is there any tribes people in here? Where you guys at? You got bodies hanging upside down. Oh. Why not? I need a dynamite. Let's get more cloth. Yeah, every time you go to these bases, there should be stuff that kind of they restock on as far as like the cloth, the ropes. So uh, be on the lookout for those things. And of course, you can hit these and get the uh, cloth from those. And there's our skulls. That's actually what I want to do. I want to grab a bunch of skulls so we can make our our sweet chandelier. Our, our skull chandelier. It's just a cosmetic item. It's nothing required. Make it for my little cabin. Grab as much of these skulls as I can. I'm actually glad that my the plane crashed near this base. Makes it way easier to get skulls. If I can just keep coming back and destroying these effigies, I can get as many skulls as I need. Which it looks like I'm all full. Oh yeah, and we got circuit boards here too. All the circuit boards I could possibly need. Let's go back into the base. Jump in here. Oh, I can carry four skulls at a time. All right. So let's go back and let's get uh, four more skulls. Look at all these sticks. There's sticks everywhere. You never have to worry about sticks. Find them all on the floor. Alright, let's 
get more skull. Some alcohol there too. Can I destroy these ones? No, that's just a dude with. Look at this guy. Look what they did. This guy. They put a bag over his head and then impaled him with tennis rackets and like crammed his body in him. Very weird. Freaking nasty. Oh, sweet! Found some people. Alright, let's kill these. Let's kill these suckers. Oh, dude, there's actually a lot of them. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe he's just walking up to me, just not scared at all. You want some, dude? Freaking want some. How about I, how about I like... Bust out some fire arrows on these MFers. Hey! Stay back. Where you at? Come at me. Hey, hey, hey! Oh! Just want a headshot. Shoot, that was not a headshot. That was not a headshot either. Oh. Oh. This guy's got terrible... Oh, there it is. Headshots drop him really quick. And then they get scared. You take out their leader and they're like... They they, they dip out. This guy's dead. He dead. This guy's dead. Let's take his body. Look at his ass up. Nasty. Dude needs to clean his ass. Alright, well, we're gonna build fire. Simple fire. Oh, you know what? We'll build a nice medium fire. A mediocre fire. Put it right, right in the middle of their little hut. Let's go find some rocks. Just a couple rocks here. Nice. There we go. Birds are just feasting on his body. Throw his body on there and uh, let him burn. Cool. Oh, and I got his weapon, so check it out. Now I got his upgraded weapon. It's got, like a skull and it's got a hand on it. Oh, look at him over there. Yeah, this thing's pretty pretty beefy. If you look at the stats here, block block is really good and damage is high. It's just really slow, but it's definitely like it's definitely the go-to weapon when you're trying to bash some skulls in. Look at this guy. You want some, dude? I just killed your friend. I'm burning his body right now. I want his bones. Hey. Dude, this should terrify you if you see me burning your friend. Doesn't that scare you? This is gonna be you. Once I'm done with him, I'm taking you, dude. I'm taking his bones. I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm coming for you. I'm freaking coming. Yeah, you're dead, boy. Boom! Oh. Oh, make sure he's dead. Hey, look at that. He dead. Oh, you want some too? Oh, I got blood on me. Okay, so see how he's doing the animation of the blood? That means I need to clean myself. Otherwise, I'm going to get an infection. Dude, these guys are... Oh! Oh! Dude, it's Molotovs. Take out the leader. Oh my gosh. Except homies are coming in to get me. <gasps> Come at me, bro. This guy looks like a pharaoh or something. Oh, dude, it's getting, it's getting nasty up in here. Back up, dude. Oh, he's taking his master. He's dragging him to, towards me, I guess. That's not dragging him to safety. Oh, he hit his own friend. This is chaos. And I'm on fire. He did. Oh! This is turning into freaking Clownville, dude. 
the circus. Oh, you want some too? Oh, he's got teeth. Knocking out his teeth. Oh, don't get up. Wow. That was chaos. That was freaking chaos, dude. I'm covered in their blood from beating their brains in. These birds are just laying on their bodies. Eat the bird now. Whew. Well, that was uh, intense. This guy's still burning. Oh. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That was easy. Alright, well, let's go burn the rest of these guys. Take some of this cloth. I got some soda. That was a lizard. Everything a man can dream for. Soda, lizards, cloth, and rotting corpses. Let's just throw that guy in there. Got birds. Just crows eating bodies. Dude, easy access to birds. Look at all these birds. There's three birds on this one guy. They did. We got them all. Oh, it's about to rain. Okay, so the rain's going to clean me off. So that's actually a bonus. I don't have to worry about anything. I can just burn these bodies in peace. Now I'm going to get clean. I got all these birds just... On. Got some teeth. All these feathers. More feathers. All this meat. I can't even carry any more meat. There's so much... Can't even carry any more bones. Can I build a bone bag? Oh man. I'm gonna leave all these bodies burning. Alright, I'm coming back for those bones. Where's my base? Alright, well that was chaos right there, but I survived. We came out on top. I'm all clean now, not bloody. Do I got my other cool clothes? Where's my like blue jeans and gray shirt? Open shirt with black jeans. Open shirt? I don't know. What, what's an open shirt? Is that my flannel? Oh, yeah. True hipster right now. Alright. Hopefully those bones will be there when I run back over there. Oops. Actually, I want to go in here. Oh, yeah. Bone chandelier is almost done. Uh, eat some of this meat. Delicious. Brain collectors are getting the water I need, so let's take a little sip of that before I go. Let's go run back to this village and see if those bones are still there. I left out on that one. So bones I usually collect for bone armor. That's kind of like more important than the chandelier, but, you know, we've done a lot of cool, uh, base stuff, so let's reward ourselves with, um, a little bit of cosmetics here. Oh, sweet, they're still here. Amazing. Alright. Aww. Take some more skulls. Any more bodies that I can like? Oh, this lady wants some. You want some lady? So when you have your fire arrows, just push L and you'll uh, light your arrow and then try to shoot him in the face. Oh, she's running. Oh, in the face. And I burned her. She dead. She burning. She burning. I'm gonna grab those teeth. Alright. It's uh Oh you can collect your arrow from her face too, so make sure you do that. There's another one. I'm trying to remember what button it is to switch your arrow type. Oh yeah, it's R. Okay, so if you look down, you have to look down. And then you push R and you'll switch your arrow type. So you can do these wooden ones. The fire ones, and then there's like crossbow ones that you can find at campsites that are like more like those professional looking ones. Dude, you want some too, man? I mean, how many people do I gotta kill? Oh, another headshot! Oh man, I'm just murking these fools. 
get headshots. They take a lot of body shots, so if you can get a headshot, I mean, get good with the, with the bow. Just roasting bodies. Look at this, you got like feet. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a, a shin? Is that someone's shin? Yeah, I think that's someone's shin. You got a foot. Ew, it's like moldy, green. That's nasty, dude. Look how long that toe is. Ew, it's like rotting on here. Festering foot. Alright, so I can't take any more bones, so let's just run back to the base. Get our chandelier finished, and then, uh... We might have some leftover bones that we can uh, throw into the little bone box. chandelier and I had a little bit of leftover to put in the little bone box all right I'll light a little fire up here and uh, I got all these little teeny meats on so I'm just gonna throw them all on because that's like bird meat it's really easy to get so it's not I'm not gonna need to eat them all but I'm just gonna do it just to get free up my inventory I'm going to fill up my water. It's at 65% capacity, but might as well fill it up while you're here. Alright, and then we'll just sit by the fire and wait for our meat to be done. Yeah. Living the, living the life out here on Cannibal Island. So I think next what I want to do is I think I want to gather a bunch of wood and store it. So it's going to be a lot of me hacking at some trees here. Lots of hacking. And um, how many feathers do I got? Six. Not very many. Alright, so let's start hacking away. Oh, did I lose that log? Oh no. 
I managed to uh, manifest it through the rock. Alright, so I can't carry this one, so we'll just kind of throw it right here. And if you want, you could always build a second sled. You just bring them out both with you so you can load them both up and you, know, you bring it inside two separate times, double up on your load. I'm going to get these all stocked up so I don't have to worry about it later. Plenty of tree sap from cutting trees. You can either take your cooking pot or your water boiling pot and um, tie it to a tree to collect the sap, or you could just simply uh, cut down trees. But if you don't have the infinite tree or the tree regrow on, you might want to, you know, eventually run out of trees. So. Or you'll have to travel large distances to get trees to your base because obviously you're cutting outwardly from your base. So. Stamina is taking forever to regen. It's getting dark out. Keep hacking away. What the hell was that? <laughs> So that's full, so I'm gonna... Wait, where did that tree fall? Man, nighttime's just totally throwing me off here. Oh, right in front of my face. So I'm gonna put this by the other one. And it's just like slowly rolling towards my base. Can't see. What am I hitting? I'm hitting a tree stump. Yep. Um, hearing weird screams outside the base. It's totally normal. Nothing to be alarmed about. Actually, probably sleep once I bring these last three logs in. And I just got one more log carrier to fill. Let's pick this up. Oh, and check this out. So there's some mud here. So this mud is actually really good for um, not smelling. So you can rub it on your body and then now you're not pretty much, 
they won't find you if you're like sneaking around in the woods because um, you got mud on you so they can't smell you you can't smell that delicious blood all right so what can we build next weapons rack explosives holder skin rack we've already got that armor rack arrow bag Zebo. Bone fence, tree house, tree platform, tree bridge. So what we can do is maybe we could build a bridge that goes from here over to like a whole another area. Like a whole another tree. I don't know what tree it could go to, or I could just build another one of these towers. I wonder how that would work here. So it looks like you can just go, like, I can just... Oh, okay, so you can, like, make up a ramp? Oh, look at this. I can make it go to my roof here. Pretty cool. Shoot, why not, right? Build another platform there. I mean, heck, let's just make it go right to the house. Oh, we'll just build it right, right there. Can I do that? No, it doesn't let me. So you gotta have another connecting point. So how would I build a perfectly attached, like a perfectly straight connection point. Yeah, good luck with that. Zip line. I do want to make a zip line though from the high ground, which looks to be we're in that general area. So I can make a zip line that goes from a tree that I build a platform on all the way back into my base, which is what I typically do for my bases. Uh, makes a good spot because once it starts getting really difficult, you're gonna like want to if you're not close enough to your base and you get ambushed. I mean, you might have to like climb up into a tree and uh, use that as like a you know a little escape point to keep you safe from dying because it starts to get difficult when you're oh man when you're outnumbered. Um, and escape running to a tree really helps. Oh, I missed. Nice. Harvest some of this fur here. Yeah, and get as much fur as you can because you're gonna need it anyways. So let's, um, I'm gonna make some normal arrows. I don't want to waste all my fire ones. So again, just look down to switch your arrows, push R, and now you're, you change your arrow to just the regular ones. There are so many deer in this area. I freaking love it. Come on. Oh, such a bad shot. There we go. All right. Let's go bring some of this back. So we harvested some meat. And we're going to go bring it back to the drying rack. Look at our blueberries. Growing. Alright. Look at all this meat. We'll just let that dry. Um, and I'm going to eat some of this because I'm super low on health. So we'll eat that and we will go ahead and get some water from here. We're good to go.
All right, cool. Dynamite, aloe vera. What else do I got? Sticks. Okay, so what can we make here? We can probably make... Um, okay, we've got a crafted axe already. We've got a club. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a weapons rack. So when you have a weapons rack, you can put multiple weapons on it. Because right now you can only build one. If I have an axe in my inventory, I can't build another one. So building a weapons rack will help me be able to store more items. So let's go to the weapons rack. And I'm going to store this inside. Uh, where should we put it? What would be a nice little spot? Should we just put it flat against this wall? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put it, put it, you know, right there. Is that good? Yeah, it looks nice. Alright, weapons rack. Okay. So now you can alternate through your weapons. Repair tool, bow. We're going to put the axe there. Now we should be able to make another axe. Yeah, so see if we can make another axe. There we go. So we will go ahead and we'll put that axe there. And make a bow. Wait, what does that make? Slingshot, bone arrows, speed weapon down. Okay, burning weapon. Okay, so anything with a cloth is a burning weapon. Um, okay, so let's actually, let's make some snowshoes. So snowshoes is simply five sticks and two ropes. So we'll... Five and two rope. Boom, got some snowshoes. You're going to need those later for the mountain, the colder terrain. So now we've got some snowshoes. Just store a bunch of axes on here. All right, so we got three axes. That's our weapon. That's what a weapon rack look like. So now you have three spare axes. So if you lose them, which it's not very common, but it's good to have a little weapons rack there. And um, also now I want to make more cabinets. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. More cabinets is just, the more the better. The, the more storage you have, the better it is just overall. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, having too much on your person when it comes to drinks and, and, and things. So go ahead and just make plenty of storage shelves. And it's kind of good to like separate, you know, you want, you want some shelves with medicine on them, you want shelves with drinks and food on them, you want shelves with just maybe alcohol on them. Being organized is definitely critical. So check this out. So we're going to make some healing medicine. So throw your aloe in, it'll show you right there. You got your energy mix, your health mix, and your health mix. So health mix plus versus health mix, obviously it's going to be a little bit better just requires a little bit more ingredients. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... I think it's marigold and chicory. Or wait, it's marigold and coneflower. There we go. So now we have our health mix plus. Mix some more. Health mix plus. These things are really darn good. Alright, so throw trickery on it, says what, what, you make an energy mix, or an energy mix plus. Um, energy, you know, energy is alright, but I think that health overall is very, very important. So we'll just pack the health. All right. So what we can do is we can just, should be able to load up. So we got our pills. And we got our 
health mix plus right there actually you know what we're gonna make this even more organized so we'll go like this throw these drinks on here So now we're loaded up on plenty of medicine and drinks and everything. So again, storage, very important. You want to have all these medicines so you can come in, pick one up. If you're going to go in the caves, start the mission or the campaign, we're going to look for Timmy. Make sure you load up on, on some a lot of health because you're going to need it when you get to those caves. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and save it now so that if we die, uh, we won't lose everything. So things are kind of coming together. We've got our weapon storage rack. We've got a bunch of storage for all of our items. Freed up some space on our inventory, which is nice. Um, still have some seeds. So if we want, we can uh, expand our garden. You can see here we've got plenty. Look at that. Boom. Gave me more, uh, more seeds. Did it. Did it not work? Didn't even give me anything. Didn't even give me anything. I guess it gave me aloe vera. Okay, so let's plant. Let's plant one of these here. There. Plant some marigold. Alright, things are coming together. Let's just grab these rocks. Throw them in your rock thing. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and build another one of these lights here. Right on the edge. Brings up the skull so it gets out of my inventory. Brightens up the area over there. Alrighty. So, things are looking good. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go gather more wood. Store it in my log folders. Which, you know, when you run out of space in your log folders, use your sled as a storage area. Because if you, remember, if you leave them on the ground and you save the game and leave the game and come back later, the logs aren't going to be there. The ones that you put on the ground will not be there. So don't gather 20, 20 logs and then think that, oh, they're going to just save when I leave the game. Yeah, they, they won't. They'll just disappear. All that hard work will be for nothing. some tribe people running around. They're watching me. My stamina to restore. Let's see if I had the energy mix, I could just pop some of that energy mix and bam. Ooh, that's a big one. Hope that doesn't fall on my base. That is a massive tree. Oh, okay. Never mind. That just looked way bigger than it was. I was about to think that I was going to collapse on my wall. 
That would have sucked. Right, there we go. Got a full sled. Actually, I might be able to fit one more on there. Oh, wait, no, the one fits 12. That would. Alright, that should be good. Cool, so we've got five stacks of wood. Close this up. I think I got a couple extra furs, so yep, let's free up some inventory space. Throw the furs on there. Um, oh, actually, remember I'm separating them, so let's do. There's our deer skin, our rabbit skin, and our lizard skin. Nice and organized. At least that's how I like to do it. Right. So our base is coming together here. Sweet. It's looking good. Let's see what we can do here. Nice comfy couch, huh? Could make a nice comfy couch if we had the skins or a chair. Nice wood bench. We could totally make a wood bench, just put it up here. Ah, oh, we ain't gonna do that. Put one, you know what? We'll put one right here. No, oh, she'll probably start on fire. And it'll get in the way of the wood, uh, of the sled. How can I put this fancy little wood bench? How about just like right here in front of the uh, in front of the cabin? There we go. Check that out. Bam. Take a seat. There you go. Nice little wood bench. Simple cosmetic. can we make here? Weapons display. Okay. Head trophy. So that's like when you kill animals, you can, uh, you know, make a little trophy. You can put a trophy in your house. I like to do it with the alligator head. Uh, rabbit traps. Those are nice. If you want to go catch some rabbits. Leaf pile trap. Then you got your explosive wire traps. Your Molotov traps. Deadfall noose trap. Happy birthday trap. So you can put those around your base. Uh, these are probably what I'll do eventually, is defensive wall spikes. Those are nice um, for putting on your defensive walls, obviously. It takes a lot to build. You need a lot of sticks and a lot of rocks. And the bigger your wall is, obviously, you're going to need more. So it takes a while to complete that. Um, set up defenses. I mean, maybe that just means set up a trap. Because I've got defenses. All right. Wood target. Let's set up a wood target. Let's set it up right here. Let's put it right here. You ever want to practice? There we go. Four sticks and a log. Boom. Simple as that. There you go. Now if I want, I can make another weapon holder, put a couple bows on it. Oh, it's feathers. And then I could put my arrow basket next to it if I want. In fact, you know what? I could totally just make like a table. Let's make a table right here. I'll put the table flat against it right here. logs. Let's, uh, let's eat 
eat some of this wood real quick. Or wood. Let's eat some of this meat real quick. <laughs> Alright, little table there. We'll build a... Arrow basket. Arrow basket right here. Get us close to the edge. There we go. 25 sticks. Alright. Let's grab some of our sticks. See, this is the benefit of having the storage. Um, just makes everything just way easier. When you're trying to build stuff, you just grab and go. So when I reload the game, all of the, uh, actually, let me, is all, have I any fire? Okay, so I do have a fire arrow. So it might be wise to make two of those, so you could put your fires in one, and then your regular ones in the other. Totally up to you. Armor rack, so we can make the armor rack inside. Go ahead and put that. In. Let's put that right here. Thirty-seven sticks. All right, I'm pretty sure I got that. And yeah, when I load back in, I'll be able to uh, all the sticks that I have or that spawn in from the trees. I can just easily uh, chop them down and replace the sticks I've used. Definitely don't have thirty-seven of them, but. We'll just, I can collect 20 at a time with my stick bag, so we'll just go out and cut some, cut some sticks down. Got plenty in the area, so every time I reload my game, it's just, sticks are just going to be in abundance. Sticks. Let's get a few more here. I only need six, but we'll just load up. Since we're out here, you might as well just load up so you can refill your storage. There's even chicory out here. Sun's going down. All right, full up. Uh oh. Blows that up. There we go. All right, so now we got our. Now when we make armor, we could just, uh, yeah, throw it on here. So, um, go ahead and grab our bones. We can make bone armor. Which requires six bones and three cloth. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Plenty, that's why these cloths are important. Look, I got 132 of them. Alright, so I was able to make not enough to fill the whole uh, armor rack, but. Cool. There. So we're 
filling up the, the armor, the bone armor. So whenever you need it, just take what you need. Let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to say we're on day, day 12, okay. Nice. Doing pretty good for day 12. Got a nice little house here. Very terrible bed. Just a couple of magazines and some pillows, but... Whatever. Alright, we look like we're pretty well protected, so let's... They're gonna start coming out in groves here. Uh, I'm gonna make this little light here. here. A little piece of light so when I'm far away from my base I can see the light a little bit better from a distance. Alright, so we tackled a lot. Quick little uh, recap. We made a garden. Uh, we went out and harvested some blueberries and aloe vera. We got our blueberries here. We also did some marigold. We got our marigold in our little planter. Uh, this helps you hydrate and gives you uh, hunger, fills up your food. Oh man, we're right outside. We built this little scaffold, or this little tall little scaffolding here, some steps, so that we can do exactly this. We can jump up here and we can see what's going on. We got some people out here hollering at us. Um, oh, now they're attacking my base. Which, there you go, right to our repair tool. I'm gonna start repairing. They're actually hitting my scaffolding because I didn't build it. I should have built it more um, away from the wall. So be, be mindful of that. When you're building this, try to build it away from the wall. But that's what I'm going to, I think so when I start building my um, defensive spikes, I'll probably build some on this part because then they won't be able to hit my scaffolding. Because the scaffolding isn't as strong as the walls are. Um, but yeah, so we did the garden. We made this little bench here. We made ourselves a little skull chandelier, more storage. We crafted some medicine. Weapons holder rack. We got a bunch of weapons on there. We got our bone armor that we made on top of the bone, or the armor rack. Crazy monsters out there, and uh, yeah, we built a little table right here with with a arrow bin, little target right here. So things are turning out to be pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and sleep. We'll save it one more time, and we are gonna wrap up this tutorial. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's very helpful what I'm doing here. This is kind of new to me doing the tutorials, but I hope it helped. Uh, helped you kind of understand a little bit more about the forest. I got a couple other tutorial videos uh, if you want to check those out. Uh, that was the beginning of this base. So I made the cabin, I made the meat racks, uh, I made all the storage bins, I uh, made the shelters. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and look through my videos. It's under, I got them all by playlist. So just check out the forest playlist or the live stream playlist. They should be there. Um, I really appreciate your guys' support. If you like the video, please shoot me a like. If you like my channel, go ahead and uh, shoot me a, a sub. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are interested at all in a new gaming chair, I got a link on my banner next to my Instagram link. There's a little teeny globe that you'll see, a little globe link. Just click that, and that'll bring you to the Secret Lab website. Uh, they make amazing gaming chairs. They just can't, they come out with a new one every year with uh, slight improvements. Um, so I would highly recommend you checking them out. They got all sorts of cool designs, patterns, uh, gaming theme designs like Cyberpunk and League of Legends and Overwatch and Game of Thrones. So if you're interested in kind of a flashier, colorful chair, that's a great company to get your chair from. Or you can just get a totally all-black chair. You can do leather. You could do cloth. You could do uh, high-quality leather. They got two different. They got the the PU leather, and then they got like the genuine leather. Uh, so check those out, guys. They're they're really nice chairs. My affiliate link is in my banner 
on the front page of my channel. Again, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for checking this video out. I hope it helped. And I'll be streaming soon, so just uh, stay tuned. Turn on your bell notification so it lets you know. Um, 